Yo, 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 this is Games and Graphics. We back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And today we are going to be installing Green Screen Mod. All right, this is a mod where uh, you can use uh, your green screen and put little effects in your videos and things like that, okay? Um, as always, I encourage everybody to always read the description of the mod or script before you download it. For this one particularly, we are going to need uh, scriptbookv, scriptbookv.net. We are also going to need open4, and uh, we are going to need a trainer or mod menu that spawns objects, okay? Or you can also use um, map editor as well. But um, today, I am going to be using menu, okay? So you're gonna need scriptbookv, scriptbookv.net. I will have a link down in the description to a video showing you how to install those as well as links to open four and a video showing you how to install that as well and menu or a simple trainer also I will have uh, down in the description for a video showing you how to install those all right once you have uh, those installed which are our bare minimum requirements for this then you can come to this link right here where it says green screen mod you want to scroll down right here and download 2.0 the current and download it right here okay so as soon as you have this downloaded it should look something like this on my left hand side i have a folder with the uh, green screen mod downloaded right here it says green screen mod v 2.0 all right then on my right hand side i have my grand theft auto 5 directory opened up now we're really not going to need our directory right now I just want to go over the fact that we are going to need a mods folder okay so make sure that you have a mods folder if you don't have one then go ahead and create a folder and name it mods just like I have here okay once you have that created you can go ahead and open up open 4 okay we're going to need open 4 opened up and go ahead and Minimize that window. As you can see now, I have my open four opened up on my right hand side right here. Now let's go back over here to our green screen mod folder. Open up that folder and we are going to have four folders inside, okay? Now, um, let's go ahead and start with the green screens folder. Open up the green screens folder. Inside there will be three more folders, okay? We are going to start with the very first one, which is the one I have highlighted. Let's go ahead and open up that one. All right, inside here, there will be a readme in one file, okay? If you open up the readme, it will let you know exactly where this file is going to go inside Open4, all right? So let's go ahead and go to our Open4 scroll down to uh, x64c right here once you click on it then you're going to see a uh, red banner right here it's either going to say copy to mods folder if you don't have it there already or if you have it in your mods folder it's going to say show a mods folder so if this is your first time installing it then it's going to say copy to mods folder so go ahead and select copy to mods folder once it copies to my folder, let's go ahead and select Levels, then select GTA, then select Interiors, then select INT Props, then select INT Lev Des RPF right here. All right, select that one. And this is where our file is going to go. Let's go ahead and close that README. Now we can go ahead and grab this file that I have right here highlighted. We're going to drag and drop this one file right here into our open four. Just like that. All right. 
Now we want to go down to the next folder right here. I'm going to click on the second folder. And this folder is going to have a README with two files. Let's uh, go ahead and open up the README. Inside the README, it is going to give us another path on where to install those two files. Let's go back over to our Open 4. And we want to go to X64Z. So that's X64C, excuse me. X64C. Let's go to our mods folder since we already copied that to our mods folder. And let's click on X64C and click on levels and then click on GTA. Now we are going to click on props. Now let's pick left desk. All right, this folder right here, left desk. Then click on left desk.rpf right here. All right, let's go ahead and close this README. Now we can go ahead and select both of these files right here that I have highlighted. And we are going to drag and drop those files right here into our open four. Just like so. Now if I go back over here, we are going to go to our last folder, which is um, uh, this last one that says VLEV doors. We're gonna click on this folder. Inside there will be another README. Let's go ahead and click on README. Now we are going to have another path where this file goes. Let's go back to our open four. Click on our mods folder. Find our x64c.rpf. Click on levels, GTA, props, lev des. Now we want to pick vlev doors. All right, this file that I have highlighted right here, we want to pick this one. Open up that one. Now we can go and close the README. And let's go back to that one file and drag and drop that one file right here into open four. Just like so, all right. Now let's go back over to our downloads. And next down, uh, we have marker. Now, when you open up marker, this is going to be a prop for um, for a glass window on the yacht. Okay, we're not going to be installing this one today. Um, I haven't quite got the hang of that one. So uh, we're going to move all the way down to the last folder, which is the TVs. Okay, so open up the TV folder. Inside the TV folder, we are going to have two more folders. Let's open up the first folder that says TV for x64c.rpf. And open up that one right there. Now, it has a README and two more files. Let's go ahead and open up the README. Inside the README is going to be a path where we are going to install the last two files right there. Let's go back over to our open four. Open up our mods folder. Find uh, x64c.rpf right here. Open up that, then click on levels, GTA, props, lev desk, and vminigame.rpf. Okay, so we're, we're picking vminigame.rpf. Open that one up. Now let's close this README. And we are going to take these two files highlighted right here. We're gonna take those, drag and drop those into our open four. All right. Once that's done, we can go back to our downloads, scroll back and go to that second folder, which is TVs for x64h.rpf, okay. Let's click on that one and inside it's going to have a long list of, um, of props right here and it's also going to have a README. Let's go ahead and click on the README. 
So at the README is going to have a path where we install all of our files. Okay, let's go back to Open4. Now uh, this one is going to be in a different um, archive. This one is going to be in X64H. So let's scroll down on the side column right here and select X64H. Once you select it, it's going to be a red banner that says copy to mods folder. Or if you have it copied in there, it will say show in mods folder. Go ahead and select copy to mods folder or show in mods folder. Once it's copied to mods folder, go ahead and select levels, then select GTA, then select props, then select residential. Now select vElectrical.rpf. Go ahead and close that README. Now for right here, um, you want to pick any one of these that you are uh, interested in using. You don't exactly have to um, install all of these. You could just install, say like if you just wanted um, the TV for Michael's house, then you could just go ahead and install that one. Or if you wanted a different TV, then you can install that one. But you don't necessarily have to just install all of them. Uh, right now just to start the ones that you are interested in using all right uh, For tutorial purposes right now. I am just gonna go grab all of them right now and once you have the ones that you um, Are interested in using go ahead and drag and drop those right here into open four All right, just drag and drop All right, we have um everything that we are going to be using today which is going to be the green screens and also the tvs all right we won't be using the marker for the yacht we're just using the green screens and the tvs okay so let's go ahead and um back out of this we go ahead and exit out of open four minimize this window and run the game all right, once you load inside of the game, what we want to do right now is open up our menu um, or open up your trainer. All right, I'm going to be using menu. Uh, I'm going to go scroll down to object spawner. And at this point, if you're using a different trainer, if you're using a simple trainer or um, any other mod menu just go to where you spawn objects all right inside menu i'm going into object spawner now i'm gonna scroll to spawn entity into world then i'm gonna select object and now i'm going to select uh search okay now this is the time where you have to remember the props names that you have installed okay um for me, I believe one of them was Prop TV Test. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in Prop underscore TV underscore Test. And then select Enter. Alright, and as you can see, um, it's in the Spawn Object list on the left. Scroll down to Prop TV Test and select it. And you will see the Prop TV. Okay. Now, it um, doesn't matter what with um whichever tv that we installed um however big or small it's going to have a green screen on it just like you see this one right here okay um the green screen you could remove that with any video editing software all right so that's how we um that's how we spawn a prop from uh the green screen okay uh, now if it's a screen that we want to um spawn we have to go ahead and spawn the name let me bring up uh, this real quick and go to green screen go to here all right so I'm going to be entering in this name right here V I live sin screen V I live sin screen okay 
the button and there you go I have my big gigantic screen okay so if you forget the names of them just go ahead and bring up your uh, your download folder with green screens and just go ahead and just look at the name of it and once you get the name of it just go ahead and type it in and spawn it that's simple um, now in order you know to um, do your thing like uh, for green screens to use them you want to go ahead and do whatever animations you're gonna have your character use um, and then just record it with whatever uh, video recording software that you have installed in your computer just go ahead and record it while your character is in front of the green screen doing an animation or whatever you want them doing then you want to take that video and put it inside of your video editing software right this is pretty cool right here um, what I suggest is um, every time that you uh, enter in a prop uh, to spawn for your green screen I suggest that every time you enter it in always make sure that you add it to your favorites that that way you don't have to keep typing in the whole name every time you want it see for me I have a category in um, the menu that says favorites if I click on favorites I have a long list well not a long list but I have a list of um, all of my green screen uh, props that I'll be using alright so if I click on this one that's the one that's behind me um, we have another one right here which is called prop big sin screen alright this one right here is actually the biggest one right here is way bigger than that one all right, so this one right here is the prop big sin screen. Okay, now the, for whatever video you're doing or whatever, this this should be way big enough. All right. <laughs> all right, let me come over here on this side. The next one I have is um, this one right here. I have in my favorites. We also installed this also. It's Prop LD Green Screen 01. And always make sure that uh, you don't have any shadows in your green screen when you're doing your videos, all right? You want it just like this big, huge green screen in front of me where there's no shadow on it and the light is facing it, okay? So always make sure the light's facing your green screen before doing any recording. Uh, the next one I have is Hangar Door. Right, we got the hangar door screen screen right there all right and um, prop TV test that's the little one that I spawned over there and we also have a uh, prop TV flat Michael which is right there okay that's the prop TV flat from Michael right there so like I said, it's always good to go ahead and um, uh, when you spawn them, just add them to your favorites. So you won't have to uh, keep typing in the whole complete name when uh, you want to use these green screens. All right. And also make sure that um, if you're using it, you know, make sure that the light is facing it. Yeah, definitely make sure that the light is facing it. You don't want any shadow on your green screen. Uh, just like this big screen right here, the light isn't exactly on it. The sun isn't shining on it, but it's shining on that one right there. <clears throat> so you want the sun to be directly on it. All right. Well, if this helped everybody out, make sure that you uh, smash that like button definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with your friends that is into modding gta 5 uh, this is games and graphics me and big all in ass frank we out of here till next time y'all
I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.